Hi and welcome everybody. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Microsoft Access 2016. This will kind of be an overview so that you can design your databases with good design and uh, kind of have a good idea of what actually needs to be put onto your databases. So a database is an organized collection of data. Okay, and so data is basically your information um, that is organized and timely and things like that. Uh, this could be people, events, things, or ideas. All right, and so when you're creating your database you need to ask yourself a few questions what actually needs to be put onto the database okay and so there's two different types of databases there's a flat database that typically contains information that's related to one subject so that might be like a contact list on your phone or it could be something like a, a music uh, you know mp4 files on your iTunes or something like that so uh, it just relates to one piece of information and uh, that would be a database of music or a database of of your contact list, right? And then there's uh, the other type, which is called uh, a relational database, and that could be a lot more uh, information and data within it, meaning uh, this could be a collection of maybe students in enrolled in a school or something like this and the faculty enrolled in the school and you, uh, you're going to have a bunch of different uh, columns and fields associated to that particular data. So uh, when we're looking at Microsoft Access, first thing that we have to think about is what data actually needs to be uh, put onto the Access database. So I'm going to show you how to open up Microsoft Access right now. And so here's my computer screen. You could check to see if you have access just by hitting the Windows key and typing in access. All right, and so as I type in access, I see I have 2016 right here. I could open that on up and we have Microsoft Access. All right, so Microsoft Access has a similar front uh, opening screen as the other uh, Microsoft Office suite. And you can see that your recent files are over here on the left. You have your uh, information in the top right. And then you can search for templates and you have all your templates down here. Now, the blank database has no previous formatting or anything like that. So I'll just uh, create a blank database right now. You can choose the folder that it'll go in uh, right there. I'll just choose the desktop for the time being. And I'll just call it sample. All right, just because I'm just gonna show you what's actually on this database. Then you click create and you have your blank database right in front of you, okay? And so this is what Microsoft Access looks like. It basically has uh, a lot of tabs that you might see uh, in the other programs like the home tab, create, uh, things like that. Uh, and your new tabs like external data, database tools, uh, fields and tables, things like that. So this is Microsoft Access right here. You'll see it's a little bit of a grid format, kind of like Excel. Um, and so this is what's called a table, okay? And you can see because on the left-hand navigation pane, you can see right here it says table. And tables are the foundation of Microsoft Access because all of the data that is stored in, uh, in your Access database will be stored in tables. All right, uh, it could be multiple tables, it could be uh, you know, one table, it really just depends on how you wanna store your records. And so that word right there, records, refers to each row of data. So this right here would be a record. Uh, this one right here, going across the row. And we can see down here on this status bar, it says record one of one, meaning this is my only record right now. So that's what a record is. Uh, all of the categories uh, of data pertaining to one person, place, thing, event, or idea would fall within this record, okay? Now, columns, it's kind of like Excel, but uh, columns are actually called fields in Microsoft Access. And so a single piece of information for every record, meaning this is basically your headings. So you could create headings based off of any of these things, which you'll kind of see from Microsoft Access that, or from Excel, a few of these things in our number group. Uh, so that you should recognize it from that, but you know, you could create, uh, you know, maybe something based off a of currency and you could call it dollar amount, something like that and uh, you could, or just dollars, and you could create uh, your fields based off of that. Then as you go through, you can uh, add in more records and you can fill out all the way through your access database, all right? So there's some things that you're definitely gonna need to do to design a good database. The first thing, organize the data so that the data in the tables uh, does not uh, have redundant information. So redundant information is any information that you're really not going to use or is a duplicate, right? So you're not going to want to have anything that is a, du is a duplicate records. Uh, for example, 
uh, if you put this student information uh, from our earlier example of a student database, if you put student information in two different tables, well, you don't really need to do that. Uh, you could just link those tables. So uh, yeah, you won't really need to put that duplicate information in there. Second principle of good database design is to use techniques that ensure accuracy and consistency of data entered into the table. So when somebody types in CA for California or TX for Texas, you want to make sure that they're putting CA or TX, right? You don't, you want it to keep it with that two letter state acronym rather than somebody typing out Texas or California. And you can actually create rules in this program so that, that, that they can only do that. So, um, and that process is called normalization where uh, everything starts to line up and everything looks correct and everything has a consistent uh, uh, look throughout the entire database. Okay. Uh, other than that, there's uh, one other item that you might need to know about, and that's a common field, and that's a field in two or more tables that store the same data. So that's kind of what I was talking about earlier, where if you're going to put the student information in one spot, the common field could be added to another uh, table. Okay. So uh, hopefully uh, that short kind of tutorial tells you a little bit about Microsoft Access and how it works. And so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have a question or a video request, put it in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon.